Are you tired of slow download speed for Google Chrome? Are you really willing to boost up your Google Chrome download speed? You've come to the right video. Hi, my name is Shoa, and I'm going to guide you through the process of increasing your download speed for your Google Chrome. We're going to go through this entire process with three very easy and simple steps. So, let's just get started. Now here comes the step number one. What you have to do is click on these three dots, the right side. Go to this option called settings. Once you open the settings, you're going to go to privacy and security as you can see here. Scroll down just a little bit, go inside security. After going inside that, we're going to scroll down a little bit. We're going to look for this option called use secure DNS. Now, if your use secure DNS is set to your current service provider, I would recommend you to change it to either Google Club Public DNS or you can use the Cloudflare. I personally like the Google Public DNS more because it gives me more speed, but you can use this one or the Cloudflare. It's absolutely fine. You can use either of them. Now, once you select this, what you have to do is you just have to restart your Google Chrome. And that is the end of step number one. Now for step number two, what you have to do is uh, create a new tab and type in Chrome colon slash slash flags. As you can see here, Chrome colon slash slash flags. Once you open this, you're going to find an option called parallel downloading. Make sure that this is enabled because this will boost your download speed whether you're using Mac, Windows or anything. In case if you're not able to find this parallel downloading, what you have to do is just come here inside the search option and type in parallel and it will automatically give you this option. Make sure this option is enabled. That's it. That's the end of step number two. Now for step number three, what you have to do is click on these three dots again. Go to settings. We're going to go to this option called system. Now make sure you have this continue running background apps when Google Chrome is closed. Make sure this option is disabled because otherwise Chrome will keep on sucking up your data even though the Chrome is not running. And use hardware acceleration when available. This should be enabled. And that's it. That's the end of step number three. And those are very easy and simple steps you can use to boost up your Google Chrome download speed. So do try them out and let me know down in the comment section below if they actually helped you out. And thanks for watching. Have a great day and I'm going to see you guys in the next one.